Can this conference will now be recorded. Hello. Yeah, Mohan and Ganapati. Nicole, can you see my screen? Yes, we can see it. Yes, 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 you can see it. Yeah. Yeah. So in yes. last in last class we were discussing on this particular transportation unit, but uh, it is not working, right? I mean, like the system is not working as expected, right? So there are some changes has been done in the standard things and all. So uh, which I'm trying to rectify it. Probably give me some time. I'll uh, rectify that and I'll uh, rerun the process and then I'll show it to you. Both the transportation unit, the yard management, and there is another topic also which you were try, which I was trying to explain you, which is the rf1 actually because these are the things which got uh, disturbed in the standard system and uh, the standard configuration was messed up so that's the reason the system was not able to create because when i try to create the outbound what happened you know the system is expecting uh, this uh, transportation management with the integration with the tm actually so someone has activated that with the tm1 so that's the reason when we try to if you remember that when we try to assign the outbound delivery to the transportation unit it throws us an error that it is not a right one something it was it was telling you if you remember that then we tried the inbound even it was not working so there were some changes were being done so probably i'll i'm trying to rectify it maybe this week i'll do it and then i'll read on the same process and then i'll show it to you guys okay hello okay okay, okay. Yeah. So for the time being, I'll just park these three topics, whatever we have discussed. I'll read them again and then I'll show it to you guys. Okay. I'll take you through the LOIC one. Okay. POIC we have seen. If we have completed this yard management, the complete POIC we have done actually, which is a process oriented storage control. Okay. The same way we do have another kind of a set of process, which is nothing but the LOIC guys. Okay, so any idea what is an LOIC? Hello. No idea, Sri. Okay, so one second, it got stuck. One second now. Huh? Okay. Now, okay, POAC we have seen, right? Either in the inbound or the outbound. So, what is the main point of the POAC case? Anyone? Oh, I'm sorry, what is this POSA? Which is the process oh, oriented process. storage control? Oh, no, I don't know what this is. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Nicholas, that's what uh, we have seen till date, right? The deconsolidation or the VAS or the outbound one, OB01 or OB02, these are yeah. all the ones which comes under process oriented storage control, right? Okay, okay, okay. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, I believe it was clear yeah. till date. Am I right, Mohan or someone? Yeah, yeah, yes, it, it is clear. POIC, process oriented okay. storage control. Yeah. So, what is the difference here? Mm -hmm. Process oriented storage control is we have a complete set of uh, process like what we have we used to have a storage process and that storage process we used to assign the steps and that steps we will have the system to determine a predefined steps like whether it is an inbound or an outbound right we have an ob01 ob02 ob03 and we have an ib01 ib02 and ib03 right so what are these? These are the predefined storage process steps, right? Hello. Yes, sir. Yeah. So when it comes to this mm -hmm. particular one, actually, in the POIC one, this is what we have seen so far. But in the case of an LOIC, we will not have this kind of a storage process, the very first thing. and the other thing also you need to understand that <coughs> POSC, I have told you that it works in two different cases. Sorry, POSC works only with the handling units, right? 
LOIC can be worked with handling units or without handling units also. But most of the cases I have seen, even they will be working with the handling units also. Okay, so however, these are the ones which we have here till it. But when I come to the layout oriented storage control, here in this layout oriented storage control, we will not see the storage process, the very first thing. On top of that, we cannot perform the put away, okay, directly to the destination pins. So we will be making use of some kind of an intermediate bins or maybe some kind of an intermediate one. Based on that only we will be performing. Means what I mean to say, we cannot directly perform the final put away in the sense to where. I'm talking about to the final destination one guys. So what is happening here? The system will maybe we by using a conveyor belts or maybe by using some kind of uh, uh, tugger trains or whatever by making use of that we will use this particular LOSC. Am I clear on this point or still not? Uh, no, oh no, stay. Can you just repeat once again? So it is not using a storage process, but uh, how it will yeah. happen? It? So what happens here is this is remember that this can be used mostly in the semi-automated warehouses. Okay. Okay. Semi-automated warehouses in the sense what, where you will place the uh, products in a kind of a conveyor belt first thing, and then the products will be placed directly to the final destination one. So if you refer to this particular diagram here, what happens? Okay. Let's take an example, whether it could be an inbound or outbound, the same scenario will repeat. GR zone, from the GR zone, we will move it to the, we are trying to move it to the high rack one. Okay. But in case of the POSC, what happens, we can directly access, that could be your IB03 step, agree? From either from a work center or from anywhere, we can directly perform the put away. But in case of this particular LOSC, in order to perform the put away from a GR zone to a high rack area, we have to access this through an ID point. Means this is a kind of an ID point where we will be using that. So what happens here? This will be placed first. Okay, first, if you want to perform the put away, the system will create a task from GR zone to the ID point and from the ID point, it will be going to the high rack. So we, the warehouse worker can't directly perform the put away to the final destination. That is what I'm trying to say. Okay. Okay, and here ID point will, uh, can we consider it as the intermediate storage something? <coughs> yes. We can even consider this ID point as a kind of an intermediate one. Okay. Okay. Any questions now? Oh, nothing, Steve. So, in order to perform the put away, we will be having two different tasks. That's what I'm trying to say here. Agree that? Agree with that? Okay. We will be having two different tasks here. Yes. So, one would be your GR zone to the ID, ID point. point, and another one would be from ID point to your final destination one. So there would be a subsequent task would be created every time. But in case of your uh, this one, what storage process, you will not have this one, right? Agree. A subsequent task creation will not be happening there, right? Yeah, correct. So that is what the major difference what we see in both the systems. I mean, like in both the processes, basically. <coughs> I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. Yeah, any doubts, let me know, please. 
but in general in the PO, uh, which one is preferable in the business scenarios mostly PO is same only, right? it's both the cases are equally preferable depending upon the businesses right if we can't say that uh, storage process is mostly used and uh, layout oriented it's it's not mostly used it's not like that it's mm -hmm. both the things will be used equally based upon your scenarios okay like coming to in my current project yes we are parallelly using both LOSC and POSC parallelly we are using both and we have a combination of both POSC and LOSC also so it's not that we always use only one so the main heart of the EWM is this one only POSC and LOSC always uh, sorry, uh, this is uh, okay, yeah. I, I got it. Uh, I uh, so, uh, is, can you give me a business scenario where uh, this is being used? I mean, what is the decision point which you want to go to? Uh, Simple. One to second, yeah. If you are using a semi automated warehouses where a physical worker cannot access that particular points, then how are you going to do that? Maybe an example if you have a production happening in some other external warehouse and from there to your warehouse how would the transportation would happen maybe you will have a mini trolleys or sometimes you'll have a tugger trains so okay that will that case where you will have it maybe if you can wait one second um, so uh, hopefully then a, a cement industry where the conveyor belt is used to transfer the hmm yeah so cement industry in a sense that's a production one and after that what happens you will transfer the particular one second Can you see my screen, guys? Everyone? Yes. Okay, now let's see this. This is a kind of a transportation mode in order to reduce the labor or whatever it is. What happens is we will use this kind of a tugger train, basically. Okay, what happens here? This gets, I mean, this is a kind of a fully automated, but this is one of the process. We are not using this one. What happens is we will place the trolleys like this. Okay, and this particular trolleys will be attached to a tugger train. So the first step from here to here, okay, ultimately, and from here it will go to the production floor or shop floor or wherever it is. Okay, that's another subsequent task. This will be mostly used in the automated warehouses, guys, because in automated, sorry, automobile warehouses, I'm so sorry. Because uh, in my previous project, when I worked for BMW also, the same scenario we have used, we have implemented, and even now also, when we are implementing for this Jaguar also, we are implementing the same one. What happens is the warehouse will be such a use in such a way that we can't transport because for building in one simple car, any of the automobile car, we we'll mostly use not less than to 30,000 parts. Okay, for assembling or for manufacturing is a one car. So what will happen? The warehouse will be somewhere else and the production floor will be somewhere else. So how does the goods get transported? to basically to this particular each and every subsequent work center of the car. So basically what happens is the goods has to be come here because each and works every workstation, we will designate that, okay, in this particular workstation, we will assign the parts for the door. And in the second workstation, we will assign the parts for the other one. So that's how we will always segregate the master data for subsequently for each and every workstation, okay? In that point of time, we will remove the paths from a particular uh, thing and then we'll place it on this particular target. It's not, it's not like completely we'll be relay on this one. This is a one kind of an activity. Why do we go for this one? Why? Because we will be having the most costliest parts such as your engines and your dashboards and you'll have your uh, lights. We will segregate more, some of the most because if there would be some kind of a manual worker who is taking there and if he damages it or maybe some kind of a cosmetic changes where may can come into the picture. That's the reason what we do is some of the parts which we believe that most costliest one what we do is we'll play will have a trolley very big trolleys 
that we will attach to this frame. So this is a semi-automated. We'll have a robotics here. So this will be automatically bring this particular to the each and every workstation. So here, this is my destination workstation, basically. Okay. So when I want to place this one, so there should be two. Uh, how would I have to communicate to my SAP system? Basically, you're getting my point. Hello, Karthik and Mohan and Karpati. Yes, yes. yes. It make, it's yes. making sense now, right? So this is the yes. mostly used scenario. It's in in the automobile. Maybe in the rest of the industries, we I have seen this mostly using in other industry for the production one also. Okay, where we will manufacture. So this is one <clears> kind <throat> of a system which I'll we are using it. Okay, and we have this uh, mini trains also here. This is also one very important topic, guys. Normally, we call it as a train, but what we I'll give you an example. Maybe people who are in US they they would have heard about this industry. Anyway, okay, Nicholas, I believe you are from US, right? No, we are using the same in our uh, factory, but we are looking to move to EWM with the same. Now we use it with different uh, warehouse, uh, with mm. third party warehouse. Uh, uh, we have the same train. Mm. Uh, That's why I was looking to ask you about it. All mm. this train is managed by EWM. No, I mean, like the movements of the trains will not be managed in the EWM system. That will be a different uh, uh, software. That's all over a different software. We will not manage that. But the movements of the products only we will take care of it because that's all comes under the uh, robotics part again because they will be designing the path of the train from which place to another place. So that's all again the back end. We'll be having it through the different uh, software. It is not through an EWM site. Okay. Oh, great. OK. And mm. which, which software is this the best software uh, to manage this train with yeah, EWM? We were, yeah, that's what we were using a different one, actually. What is that? Man? Uh, what is that software? I'll check now because I was we were, we were not uh, in that part, so I'm not sure. But that, that's completely managed with third party tools. We will not manage it in the SAP system. That's for sure. That, that's something like a, it calls Swiss log or not? Not switch lock. This will starts with M R. It starts with M. Maybe what is that software? I'll check today with them. I'll check with them with the team today, because that starts with something with M. The same thing even we used for BMW also, but I don't remember it now. I'll check okay, with okay. them and I'll tell you. Okay. Yes, okay. I appreciate if you can give it to me. Thank you, sir. Yeah. No, no problem. There is another thing also. Maybe uh, Nicholas, if you heard about this blue diamond growers, have you heard about this in US? No, Blue that's a food uh, food crossing industry. Yeah. Even for that, also we have implemented this LOSC scenario. It's not coming here, but it's okay. Even in that case, also this comes into the picture now. Okay, oh, Karthik. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now, yeah. in this scenario, you imagine that can we implement OB as a like process oriented storage control here? Can we imagine that? Uh, yes, three. Mm. See, this mm. movement uh, step, we can include a, one process step in either in a, a storage process, right? Either in inbound or outbound. Which way? As a, a, a additional, <laughs> step, additional step for movement. What movement? Mm. For the for this ID point, mm. here here we are using right maybe some mini trolleys or trucks or something like it's a kind of a transportation between GR zone to the high rack storage. When you so will, okay, uh, no problem. Uh, tell so me. This is a movement, actually, right? It can't be a movement. It can be sometimes what happens is, see, this is one of the example I've given. So this is not a semi-automated warehouse, but in my other previous things, we even worked on a semi-automated warehouse. What happens is we will get the goods here and we'll place it over here. That's it. Once we have placed it, it automatically places the goods in the final destination one. Then now you tell me. Mm. What is the one you're asking me? Okay. Uh, once it is placed on this uh, high rig storage uh, storage area, mm -hmm. is there any confirm confirmation that okay it has been placed in the storage? Yeah. Uh, rack? In the storage in the warehouse process step, we'll have a flag for that. Yes, yes, we'll have it. Obviously. And because it's automated warehouse, right? Mm, obviously, you mean, have a task, right? No, no, no. You'll have a task for that, right? So the system will confirm it, and based on that only, that's a confirmation that. 
this particular task has been placed in that particular destination bin but from this trolley or something else uh, from the id point it is going automatically it is just placing on that high high storage rack is there any kind of uh, scanning or, uh, or, or scanning, scanning something obviously you'll have a scanning without how could this can be done you'll have a scanning and you'll scan that particular id point and that handling unit and based on that the system will open the subsequent task so the only thing is like for in order to perform to your final destination bin wherever you want to perform you will have a subsequent warehouse task okay that is what i was trying to tell you here yeah i got your point uh, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. this lose but mm -hmm. instead of this uh, subsequent task can we add a additional process step in the pos itself that's what uh, okay. uh, come mm -hmm. on in LOIC, we cannot perform the direct put-away right. If you're working in a semi-automated warehouses, you will not have an access to perform the put-away right. Then how you will add an additional step there? How does it make sense till me? Because if you're adding a step, then obviously you will be having another step like OB01, OB02, OB03. That's what you mean to say? Yes, yes, exactly. Yeah, and then, okay, fine then. Okay, what you do here from GR zone, you'll move it to here, IB01 to IB02. Fine. Okay. From IB02, you will not have an access to access this step at all. Then how are you gonna do it? Then tell me. You're getting my point. Yeah, yes. That's what said. That's a kind of a semi-automated warehouses where you will make use of this kind of things basically. Okay. Okay, sir. Any other questions? <laughs> Am I clear? Yeah, yes. Okay. Now, this is the one scenario. Maybe I think I will not be finishing the complete configuration today, but this is the one which I thought of explaining it. But let me see. Uh, let me complete whatever it is. Uh, see, uh, uh, after uh, this ID uh, point, uh, uh, you said that there will be another task created, right? obviously because okay one second then so this task do have any moment time attached to that obviously right how okay. would the system be determined so first thing is so in the layout right now if i'm trying to perform from the gr zone to the final one let's assume this one okay what happens here from the gr zone first thing is it's an id point the storage type and from the id point we will move it to the the final destination one so what happens is the system first initially create the task from gr zone to the los storage type but here this task will not be confirmed it with the status would be in the waiting why because you have to perform the step from gr zone to the lon and from lon to the losc you're getting my point that's how the steps we have here you're getting my point at least yes okay yeah but yeah the standard storage types is 0081 and 0080 guys i'm not sure how far they we have it in the system because this 1809 is completely corrupted guys i don't know what they have done and what has been done to this system so i've told them i mean to upgrade this to 1909 or to restore it back he told me that they, by this week, he'll give me a confirmation. So we'll wait till that because completely, even the RF is completely corrupted, guys. I was completely shocked last time. And even this one also. Because I'm not getting time to focus on this particular issues and all. Oh, I'm sorry, what I was trying to show you. Ah, right? uh, yeah, storage type, sorry. I've told him to stop giving the access to the outside people because people I wantedly they are disturbing every settings here. And you know, I'm not sure how far you guys have done. The business partner transaction itself is not working. And 
and another thing also guys just want to can anyone list out the topics like we, what we have uh, till to cover so that based on that uh, we will have an idea at least when we can finish off completely so wm46 so 0081 uh, it's not there i can't We have double zero eight one. Where is that? Where? I missed it. Yeah, it is goal is in the middle. Yeah, this two are this two only. I was talking double zero eight one and double zero eight two. These are the standard storage types basically. But even we don't have it in my warehouse. Okay, fine then. Well, Korean man will do it. Don't worry. Okay, so you see this. This is an ID point and this is a pick point. Okay, maybe we'll take it as eight zero. Okay. 8081 so high rack because this is for the put away want as i said that this loic can be used either in the inbound or either in the outbound also case it is not that it is only limited to the inbound scenario we will be using it in both the scenarios okay hello uh, okay sorry what happened anything yes okay <sighs> <clears throat> sorry, the, uh, I'm sorry. Can I ask you a question? In this case, the same ID point it can be for uh, same ID point it can be for mm. inbound or outbound. Or not? You can use that. That's not a concern. But the ID point will have to make sure that. But inbound and outbound we can't because we have to make sure that it is a pick point or a put away point. So basically, <coughs> we will try to have two different things in generally. Okay. Uh, yes, better to have two ID points, one for um, inbound or for outbound. Mm. Is what you mean? Yes. 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 Okay, okay. Okay. Got it. Thank you, sir. Yeah. And uh, whatever someone has asked me something, I forget. Okay. No worries. Now this is what we will try to defend. Now let me see in my warehouse at least. I, uh, Okay, maybe I'll make use of these two things. So I have this is a copy of this LOIN and LOIC only. So L LOIN and LOSC. So these are the two different things which we have it in the system. Okay. Now LOSC and LOIN are using the same different storage types. If you see that. LOSC is also having the open one and LOIN. But normally what happens is the storage type role will make a major difference, which will make it as an identification point because that is my intermediate one. Okay, this is first thing. And for LOSC, because the storage type role is a major one, right? this thing okay but there is another difference also which we have to make sure that guys there is a flag over here storage control or put away completed you see this so this particular flag whatever we are using storage control or put away completed normally what happens is this we will only flag it whenever we are telling to the system that this would be your final destination you're getting my point hello Yes, yes, yes. Got it. Means the system will assume that okay, there would not be any subsequent steps or any other things, and it would be only considering that the put away will be completed after this step. So system will not try to create the subsequent task or whatever it is yet. Okay, so this will be stopped here. So what I'm trying to do now, okay, we will try to make use of this thing, guys. Okay. LOSC and LOIN guys, both the things. Okay. So what is happening here? So ID point is my LOIN and this one is my LOSC. Clear. So what I'll do here is I'll try to create the bins for this. Okay. Uh, 
the first thing is l y n okay this is my storage type okay the same way if you want you can create it for i think i should have the template guys for l y s c i would have created this thing okay one second right Oh shit, why did I come here? I need to go to the template man. okay we'll make use of this template guys okay but why was this elbow here is here one second so how many bins it's getting created right Okay, so we have to create the bins, right? One second now. is done this part is done now what we have to do is first thing okay we have to change the strategies also guys the very first thing okay First, let me do the configuration for this, which is the layout oriented one. Okay, this is the one. So WM46, what I'm trying to do here now. So from where to where we are trying to use from WM46 9010, okay, to this particular LYC. So what, what is LYC? So basically, we are trying to perform the put away from the GR zone to the high rack one. I agree, guys? So 9010 to the LOSC, right? However, what I'm trying to do here, I'm trying to perform the put away to the intermediate one. So it is passing through this intermediate one. It, it can't directly perform the put away from GR zone. We'll be using it to LOIN and from LOIN will be going to LOSC. So the intermediate one would be this one. So this is not my bin, WM46-LOIN and the warehouse process type. This is my internal one because 3030 is my manual one or if you want to create the system to be created automatically. So 3030 is the step which we will be using it over here. You're getting my point, everyone? 
Karthik. What is three zero three zero process type? Three zero three zero is a file child. Okay, but if you don't want, why are we doing it? Why because we want the system to create the subsequent task automatically. If you don't want the system to be created automatically, then we will not do that. Now coming to your question, Karthik, come on. That's a transfer. Okay, so what is this one? INTL. It's an internal one. What is happening now? Because from GR zone to the high rack one, we are performing the put away. You're getting my point? That's a put away yes. task. But from the internal one, because the 3030 is a subsequent task and it gets created automatically, right? And that's an internal one. So it's internal transfer, which is happening from here to here. That is what the step. So this is a normal, this uh, 3030 warehouse process step, which will is. If not, if you don't want the step to be created automatically, then what we do, we go to this transaction and then we give it whatever the handling unit or whatever the product. You're getting my point. Yes. Okay. But normally, okay. we, uh, as per the practice, what we do, we usually give it. 3030 is the standard. Okay, that's an internal INTL. Fine. Any other questions now so far? But we have another set of transactions and other things also, which we will be performing here. First thing, I, okay, look, we have created the bins and all, but I don't believe that we have maintained the strategies for that. Right, I want my system to maintain that strategies, no? Cross process settings. Oh, I'm going here. Goods receipt process strategies, storage type. Because I want my LOIC to be determined now. Mm -hmm. LOIC I have. Okay. Okay, for LVOAC, I mean, that's already there. LVOAC, I'm just making use of it. Yeah, I have to. Put away control indicator. I'm not sure whether I've used it or not. If not, I will use it. Okay, LVOAC is there. Fine. Now, specify storage type search sequence for the put away. Okay, WM46, LOSC1010 and LOSC. Okay, now we will make use of one material case. Okay, any one material, maybe because we want this to be determined. WM46 hyphen matter. Let me see this. I'm not sure. Warehouse data. Okay, I'll put it as LOSC. Yes, okay. Find that. Now, <sighs> mm. oh, what else I have? Mm. I believe pretty much we have, but let me see how far this works in the system. Uh, we have you have checked for uh, LOSC, but uh, have you checked for LOIN? I don't require for LOIN, right? Because obviously, I've already made my system that it will be passing through the LOIN only, right? That is not required for me.
why 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 could not determine why was that any strategies or something maybe mm, i okay mm -hmm. sorting and all has to be done now put away activity You used uh, Veros WM forty seven instead of. Oh, is that? Sorry. Yes. Ah oh, shit. Okay. Okay, fine. Put away strategies, process types, both I'm trying to use. Okay. What else do we have then? Let us see. Probably strategies were there. Maybe the only one concern is we have to create these things, I guess. One second, wait, then I'll try to create it manually. Manually it is going, man. Why it is not done? Allowing me to do. It is allowing some strategies or something is missing there, guys. We have to check that. Okay. But if you see this system has created two warehouse tasks. You see that here, everyone. It's only because we need to do this bin sorting and the put away has to be given some kind of an activity is missing there that's the reason the automatic search strategy is not working but i believe uh, uh, we know how to create that automatic search strategy right hello uh yes uh, one yeah. question over here uh, i mean uh, even though it's there are any issues which we found at the strategy levels for this task and mm. uh, i mean uh, there is no uh, i mean what Initial usually we used to do it from a purchase order level, right? So it will automatically uh, refresh the strategies. No, why do you need to do that from the purchase order level? Not required. Not required. So it will no. dynamically apply. Yeah, no, it will be applied. That is not at all a concern. You don't need to do it yet. That's not at all required, also. Okay. okay. I mean, yeah. uh, generally for us, like. No, we, not required. Know. Not even required. Not required. Okay. okay now you see this here yeah, this is what the which i want to show you now okay for the strategies part that's a minor thing forget about that okay now you see here what is happening here system has automatically created two warehouse tasks now my intention is to move from gr zone to the high rack one right but ideally what is happening here you see the warehouse task from here 
we are moving it to where from 9010 i am moving it to losc right but this was in b i can't confirm this oh shit okay we have a hadi provider because i forgot my charger in office okay but however you see that as i said that the 3030 is an internal warehouse movement with an process and activity of an intl which will be coming here but however it is moving from 9010 to loi in first the status is in open you see that so obviously what is happening from 9010 we will be moving the system is automatically first asking to move to 9010 you are getting my point hello Yes. Yeah. Sorry. Tell me what happened, Patrick. Nothing. I'm just uh, agreeing to your point. Oh yeah. So that is what because my intention is to move here, but here system is telling that okay, you have configured in such a way that the products needs to be first go to the ID point, and from the ID point it is going to the high tech. Yes. So it is going to the ID point first. So which is three zero three zero and this one. Okay. What I'm trying to do now. i am trying to confirm this task in the background once i confirm this task in the background the system will automatically open up the second task which is this one from what happens now from loin to loic right so from this loin we were going to the loic you see that hello yes, so what yes, is I so i confirm this task in the background here okay So what happens now? The putaway has been performed here. Agree. So from GR zone to the high rack, I mean like GR zone to the ID point, and from the ID point to the high rack. Agree, guys? No. Everyone. Yes, agree. Yeah. The strategies part something is missing here. Even in the yard management and the transportation, also the same issue has happened. We have everything in place. But this is not coming. I'll check that. But okay, if the strategy is working automatically, it will be. But I have given the bin manually. That's not a big showstopper for us. But ideally, the process is we want the two different tasks to be created automatically here. That is what has been happened here. Okay, clear, guys? Yes, clear. Okay, so. Okay then, yes. Okay, so we'll catch up tomorrow, and we will take up the other uh, topics, whatever uh, we had. In the meantime, if you have time, just list out the topics also, guys. Whatever the topics we have to cover, okay, and then we will see it accordingly. Okay. Perfect then, guys. Okay, we'll catch up tomorrow, and then we'll see the other topic like PPF or whatever. Okay. 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 Okay then, guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye.